Hey you guys, I'm just popping in to say that I really hope you all enjoyed today's vlog and equally as important to my veteran subscribers. And I would like to inform those of you that are watching my videos for the very first time that I recently relocated from Texas to Arizona. I am pregnant with a baby boy and I recently started a new job. That's the reason why I moved to Arizona in the first place. I actually lived in an extended stay at the time that I filmed the next few segments that you guys will be watching. And I have no doubt that you guys will enjoy seeing my new city with me. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. This is my first weekend in Phoenix. The work week is officially over. And I'm about to run some errands, I could say, and just check out some things today. I already showered. I just need to brush my teeth and put my hair up somehow, some way. Um, it's really hot outside and I don't like when my hair is in my face too much. Um, I had a really slow morning and so I'm heading out a little bit later than I originally intended. But honestly, I wouldn't change the way I spent my morning for anything. So I'm here trying to... Um, pack some snacks to take on the road with me so I don't have to buy food on the road. And I take this out of the fridge and I see that it's frozen. I'm gonna bring some yogurt, Let's grab a spoon, and then I have my water to stay hydrated. So I'm here you guys, I'm at the apartment complex, I am parked outside, and I'm gonna go in, but I'm actually not gonna really show you guys what the apartment looks like. I think I'm gonna save that for our actual apartment tour. There would be no reason to show you guys the apartment ahead of time. So, um, I, uh, I'm about to go in and see what this is about. Remember, I did all of this virtually. This entire process was done virtually, so I have yet to even tour the apartment that we have already rented. <laughs> Okay, so our trip to the apartment complex did not work out as planned, apparently. Um, their office is, well, everything is like appointment only due to COVID. Um, so I've been calling the office and I can't really reach anyone. It is 12.46, so maybe it's lunchtime. Maybe that's why. Hey, you guys. So it is 5.35 in the morning. I'm having, I was having trouble sleeping. I have not gotten any sleep since waking up yesterday at 3 a.m. So I'm about to go into the kitchen and make something small and see if that can help me go to sleep for at least a few more hours, at least a few hours, just a little nap at the very least. This is the milk that I have. Extended stay life. Now I know I'm not the only one that does this. Okay, when you guys are at a hotel, for whatever reason, when you go to breakfast in the mornings, I'm sure I'm not the only one that grabs more than what I need. And I definitely do that with the milks here. It's, a, it's really convenient. So what you just saw me do right there is kind of like prep for porridge. Cornmeal porridge is one of my favorite Jamaican porridges. And I'm going to use this Kroger brand yellow cornmeal to make cornmeal porridge. This is definitely not the cornmeal that we use to make this porridge. But I don't have access to the regular things that I use back home. So um, I'm going to use this. Plan to go back to sleep did not work. 8 or 9 a.m. I plan on doing something really exciting today, but today's the last day to do it, and they close at 12 p.m. I was just laying in bed for all these hours, and I decided to just get up and go. And um, I have a lot of errands to run today. I'll wait until tomorrow to run my errands. Today I'm just gonna go to this special thing. Do that. 
and then come back home okay guys so i have arrived parking was so difficult for me i'm still not used to parking uh the suv that i'm renting right now oh my god but that's another story in itself i am actually confused and i don't know where the entrance is because some people came from this direction and then other people just got here and they went that direction let me show you so that's the parking lot and then they went down there and the other people are like way down there let me just go down here I see people leaving from here. I'm so excited. Oh, I didn't even tell you what I'm doing. I'm picking peaches. That is so cute. Usually you hear about strawberry picking and um, I was really excited to do this. Oh, people are leaving with, I wonder if they have any um, boxes for me to put the peaches that I pick. Because some people are coming here with their own containers <laughs> and I surely don't have a container to put the peaches in. We'll see how it goes when I get here. So I signed in. She said that there is a pump station where you're supposed to wash your hands around here. I don't see it, but I'm probably gonna go ask her in a second. They have like, it's like a little petting zoo. Look at this. They have horses, oh no, those are cows. Look at those over there. Wow, this is awesome. Oh, maybe this is the hand station. Okay, let's wash our hands. I just want to see there. I'm just looking for an opening for me to actually get down there. I actually got a little box from the lady. Came in clutch. This is so awesome. All oh, these little peaches. Okay, so one thing is, I know absolutely nothing about picking peaches. So, I don't think I'm able to tell what's ripe and what's not. Or like, some of the peaches on the trees are super small. Maybe they're different types of peaches and these peaches are just like small peaches or they're not fully ripe yet. I have absolutely no clue what I'm doing. Maybe these aren't, maybe they're not fully grown. Maybe I shouldn't pick those yet. There's so many here. Oh, so I'm assuming if they're green, they're not ready yet. Are these ready? These aren't very soft. Maybe these aren't ready yet. Look at all of these. These are pretty small. Oh, I got one right here. Look at this. It's awesome. I got my first one. Right. There's 200 types of Oh, what country is the biggest uh, producer? Something cool I wanted to show you guys. They have pomegranate trees and they actually do do picking, but this is for September to October. So I'm definitely gonna be back around that time. Cause I love that fruit, like love. Guys, I think I'm gonna wrap it up soon. I got all of these for $3. It was a dollar fifty. A, I mean, a dollar a pound today. That was an amazing experience, you guys. Oh, I need the AC. It is hot. So that was an amazing experience. It's really nice checking out um, where I live. It's nice checking out the area. I told you guys earlier, I'll definitely be back around September, October for those pomegranates. I saw some oranges when I left. I'm not sure about um, how they do the orange picking, but. Um, I would have asked if I saw them earlier, which I didn't, but it's okay. I will definitely be back. I'm so awake. Guys, you don't understand. I woke up at 3 a.m. yesterday, then I took a nap from 12.30 to 4 p.m., and I've just been up since, and it's 9.21 right now, like, and I'm like super, super awake. Like, I don't know what's going on. So wish me luck. When I get home, I need to sleep. I have to get some rest. This Guys, I totally forgot to um, film an outro when I actually ended 
this vlog at that time and um so I'm, this is outro right here i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog stay tuned for my next vlogs um i am thankful that you guys took the time out of your days to watch my video go ahead and check out my other videos on my channel don't forget to like comment subscribe and hit that post notification bell